Damian hurried up as far as the strength he had got back at the Chipirons led him. He felt the resistance steps after him like a predatory animal thirsty for blood. He felt their cool breath on his nape. Suddenly, a strong punch on the ground on the face. One less. Beatrice brought it up with coldness. Damian breathed slowly, not to wrap up the light his hunter thought yet robbed. He was focused on keeping the posture as he used to do in front of the yellow government seat. He was focusing on his cowardice. What? Are you going to lay down right there the whole day? Beatrice asked. Damian didn't answer. He expected she to get tired. It wasn't my intention to finish you off like a scared rabbit, but if I have to do it, I will. Get up right now, Beatrice ordered. Damian didn't want to give up so fast. Beatrice grabbed him by the neck and turned him over. Get up now, she shouted. Damian did what she told him. He even didn't notice how small she was and how big he was. The strength of the blow had accept his perception and Beatrice seemed to him like a powerful being capable of killing him with a slight movement. You'll never learn. Go ahead. Beatrice punched him again to make him walk. Damien didn't know where to go, but Beatrice directed him with strong and blunt punches. You have something interesting to say, at least. I'm fed up with these long walks for nothing. We should kill you as soon as you cross the damn wire netting. You don't deserve it. Beatrice wanted while pushing. Damien didn't talk. Suddenly, Another blow on the nape that knocked him down. This time he didn't react, not for pretending death. This time Beatrice almost got it. He could hardly hear her messing around and then how she blindfolded his eyes. Get up, Blondie! Beatrice pulled him. How can people be afraid of you? Things were calmer the rest of the way. Damian staggered at hanging on Beatrice's hand that kept him balanced. Couldn't you think I was going to show you the way to my hiding place? We didn't run unnecessary risks. She stopped walking. Don't misunderstand me. You are going to die. But I'm neither going to take the risks I had a hit and you get to run away. Damian didn't talk. With one more push, she sat him down on a white chair that reminded of an armchair without a upholstery. She tied his arms to the not sanded wood, the legs to the feet, the chest to its back. Come on, to the point. Beatrice yelled. What did you come for? Damian didn't answer. Beatrice lost her temper. Yanked the bandage out and knocked him down unconscious. Look, man, this guy doesn't talk much. He's unconscious. Beatrice talked on the phone. What did you do to him? Domingo asked, laughing. Nothing. I slapped him a bit. Beatrice detracted importance. Well, this interrogation thing is like pouring chemical ingredients in a flask. Slow and carefully, he'll speak, Domingo recommended. I know, I know, Beatrice said. You have to take all you can out of him. The woman she brought is one of ours and it doesn't make sense. Nobody told us something was going on or she had contacted with the government. A yellow word in this, it doesn't make sense. Domingo talked. Maybe he is not a god. Maybe they are wrong, Beatrice said. 
Look, it's more likely the woman isn't ours than this man isn't a war. If you get something, call me, Domingo Andrew. Sure, sure, Beatrice said over the free line tone. She grabbed the man's face to check he really was unconscious, not playing the fool like before. The unconsciousness was real. She took advantage of his rest to search the bag the man hung it so eagerly. This shit isn't that praiseworthy. Beatrice got disappointed. A t-shirt? A pair of trousers? A watch play? Domingo was right. He is a word. Damian? What a ridiculous uniform for sure. Night surveillance unit. Beatrice away. She took the paper Damian had with the Chipiron address on it. Bah, we just know this. Wait a moment, I know this handwriting, it shouted. Oh lord, my head hurts. Damian muttered, trying to untie him up to touch his head. Take it easy, man, don't move. If you have a headache, put up with it. The sooner you speak, the better. Who did give this? No to you, Beatrice asked. What note? Who are you? My head hurts so much. Damian moaned. Beatrice took the weapon and aimed at his head. Now, does it hurt more or has it healed yet? An evil Beatrice asked. 